have been doing research on elucidation of the pathological mechanisms of cardiovascular diseases and exploring new approaches to their treatment. In terms of heart failure therapies, many best evidence treatments have been developed, such as beta blockers, RNA inhibitors, mineral corticoid receptor antagonists, and cardiac resynchronization therapy. However, we found that cardiac energy metabolism changed in heart failure conditions and think it might be one of the causes of heart failure, and therefore, this is a clue to the solutions. We are then conducting research using animal models of non-diabetic, dilated cardiomyopathy and measuring metabolic rate by indirect calorimetry, ALCO 2000, and mitochondrial function by OxGraph 2K. As a result, we could demonstrate that GLP-1 receptor agonist caused myocardial energy deficiency in heart failure states and caused heart failure deterioration. However, when we gave them enough glucose accompanied by GLP-1 receptor agonists, it dramatically improved heart failure and prognosis. We think this effect was caused by positive energetic modulation by administration of GLP-1 receptor agonists and glucose at the same time. I believe this novel approach will be effective for a supporting failing heart. It was with great pleasure for us to receive the award about this research at the Kyushu Regional Meetings of the Japanese Circulation Society last year. We are also conducting research about making a new vaccine treatment to inhibit sober epoxide hydrolase to induce EETs in the body. This treatment may be able to apply to human in a near future if our study is going well. Many diseases still have a poor prognosis. I hope our study can help patients with cardiovascular diseases.